Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? Well, I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullanies, a nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? I cannot enter. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy... Rats! I can't stop eating them! Help me, please! Help me to disobey the voice! What is the local news hereabouts, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. What happened to you? The rats! hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please, try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor.
Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes! Please! Help! Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was... strong. Proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before... before... It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. He's more! 
impeccable. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young, probably the son. your family. They mocked my talent! Diseases evolution? This girl took lessons at the famous Doris...
amateur acting school. Locked, all right. Yeah. <laughs> 
So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. Doris Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a coincidence. I should go to her acting school.
It's locked. I cannot enter. 
I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Have conditions improved in Whitechapel? I'm ready for whatever's coming. Have I'm ready for whatever's coming. Goodbye, young man.
Best be on your way home. Over there! <laughs> Locked, all right. Has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Yeah. Good evening, my dear colleague. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that.
For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your... Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? Share my fate, for I have been raised 